question in all those Neil. The only question which I have is an equipment. Hmm. Okay, for example, we have created a domestic to domestic which is all the road equipment which we have created. But when we have to make it an international move, okay, for example, from US to Africa or from US to Dubai or from anywhere else, from India to Dubai, anywhere which is international, what is the equipment which we have to make? Uh, that depends on, that varies from business to business. It is okay. not like uh, any kind of like, like there is no particular equipment which you have to use or like that. You can keep a equipment name 0102 according to your wish, your business hmm. permit, and you, you you deal that. It depends. Okay, so for example, whatever the road equipment which we have used right now, what we have created. Not much difference in the sense, um, you know, um, it's um, domestic shipment, everything like data will be, uh, um, multi-leg, multi-stop doesn't happen much, with, sorry, multi-leg shipment doesn't happen much within India. Mostly international shipments are multi-leg shipment. So that is the simple difference, but for multi-leg shipment, you cannot say it is international shipment because there are thousands of multi-leg shipment which is domestic shipment as well. So, but mostly international shipments, like multi-leg shipment scenario comes when the international shipment came into the picture because uh, you cannot just say like you cannot send things only by the uh, one direct place, like a, 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 every place doesn't have international airports. So it is not possible, that is why uh, multiple things scenario came. But there is no thumb rule that international shipment has to have these all facilities these all features. It is just like domestic equipment. Okay, where do we actually define the flight air cargo? Here we have defined the land equipment that is 80 feet trailer, 40 feet trailer. The same, way, the same way you have created land equipment you will put air cargo, the same hierarchy you will maintain. Okay, and that we can use for international move. Of course, and there is no thing like, see, OTM is a data-driven tool. So mm -hmm. if you want to make it look like more professional than you do, like the same way you have done land, the air cargo will be set up in that way. Okay, I'll, there is, I'll do that today. There is, listen one thing carefully. It is mm -hmm. a data-driven system. There is no uh, such scenario-based data will not vary. Just shipment, multi-stop shipment, direct shipment will have a little difference in the configuration. Rest all the shipments like suppose you are creating uh, milk run. Milk run is a multi-stop shipment with source and destination same. So the same configuration which goes for the multi-stop should go for the milk run as well. So multi-leg shipment is a combination of multiple direct shipment. So if you have a configuration for direct shipment for multiple locations, if you are bunching them in a multi-leg shipment, then that should work. OTM is a data driven. Apart from, see, if, how will you understand it's an international shipment? Your data will tell you, your configuration will not. Yes. And yeah, there is no difference if you are sending a good from Delhi to Mumbai and if you are sending good from Mumbai to Dubai. Just the difference is you have to clear the customs and those all are not part of OTM or logistics. Those all are part of, it's like once it will reach to the destination then probably service provider should contact you that we have to clear the customs and all the document you have to upload. Then if your customer requires that they do not have any other system to upload the documents, then OTM is, has facility to upload documents. So you can use that facility. But there is no such configuration for international shipment. Okay? Got it. Yeah. That's all. You can start off with what we have on agenda today. One second. Ah. 
Okay. Now I would rather ask you to create a multi-stop shipment, but probably the multi-stop shipment setup uh, you have to create first. So I can be failed creating multi-stop shipment because it depends on so many um, so many uh, configuration level things. So uh, last time I may uh, get failed and we have to fix the bug. So can you just connect your system to the charger? This is showing 17% left. Yes, I'm, I'm actually grabbing my charger. Are you sharing something? Because I'm able to see a black screen. I'm not able to see a desktop. Neil, are you able to see anything or you are also seeing blank screen? Can we uh, create a red? Can we create quickly um, itinerary country to country? You have probably. India to India itinerary you have. Can you find an itinerary and just copy the name and paste it somewhere in a document? India to India itinerary I need. I think we have. Hi, uh, I'm not able to view Raven screen or others able to view Raven screen? Yes, I am. Uh, who is this, Tom? Uh, yes, Neil. Tom, can you just uh, rejoin the meeting probably? Okay. Nil, we have here India to India domestic.
So copy it. It is country to country. So copy it. Okay, and you want me to create one more itinerary? Uh, no, I just want to keep it as it is. I just want to copy the name because copy the name, not copy the itinerary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. One second. So that you uh, find a rate service which is country to country. This is US domestic. Let me do one more. Yeah, this one is country to country. Country to country, that should be India. Like it should support the same item. Yeah. yeah, this is India. So now uh, that's fine. Then find the copy the red service name and find its corresponding rate offering. This is the one which we have created. This is the rate of him. Okay, the rate of ring seems storm still facing issue. Uh, no, Neil, now I'm able to view the screen shared by uh, Raven. Okay, so uh, now uh, what is the rate record for this? It should be our, our down location. Why well, you can find it, right? You can find it by searching the rate offering. Can you just click on the refine query? Refine query, put the rate yeah. offering name. So it may possible like there are multiple rate offering for a particular uh, multiple rate service sorry multiple rate record for a particular rate offering yeah so rate offering there is a tab called rate offering click on that put the rate offering there and search it these two are the ones it is two so what is the uh, do you have any? Do you have any? Can you just click on that right side? There is a button called um, Replace Current Window and put it there. Create a new window, something like that. Replace a current window. Do you see? There is a just beside Actions. You have. I have already did that. Always open a new window. That is what I kept. Yeah. Now click on one.
Okay, Neil, can you hear me? Yeah. This is Satya here. I joined a little late. I mean, I'm still there from last meeting. So, uh, but can I know what was the topic we are covering for today? We are trying to build a multi scrub shipment. So before we start, we want to check if the setup will be sub will support it or not. Okay, this is in continuation with what we did last time, right? Exactly. Yeah. We already have created itinerary. Okay. We already have created rates. So just on oh, top of that, I showed you like how the rate works on the order and create shipment. The same way, I am going to show you how that works on the order and create multi-stop shipment. Okay, all right, great, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we are here. Yeah. So country to country, you have yes. Country to country, you have. Is it India to India? Mm-hmm. It's in to India. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can you just click and check if the itinerary which you have already copied, that is multi-stop itinerary or not? How will you check? In the I itinerary, you have, a, you have a checkbox called multi-stop itinerary. I think we, we don't have any multi-stop itinerary from what I remember because we have created all direct shipments. Okay, so open the itinerary please and click on multi-stop. So you want me to just click this multi-stop itinerary? Yep, and finish it. Yep. Now it is not sure that multi-stop will be created. Multi-stop is a is very very vulnerable shipment. It's like uh, finding a tiger in the forest. So. Why why I'm telling you this, you know, because whenever we develop a instance, we actually find hard time to complete a fast multi-stop shipment. And then once it is done, then the same setup will be copied, right? Okay. So the first time we struggle because I have not created any multi-stop shipment in 6.3.7, this version of OTM. So there must be some difference from 6.3.2 a little difference. Suppose one single checkbox. Again, I have to go through the whole document. So rather, I will try create in a normal way, the way I do it in 6.3. So okay. over the experience, you will learn like how to um, how to improvise. You know, it is like a basic knowledge will support you to reach to the 95% or 99%. But 1% may change version to version. Okay, so. Uh, go to go and create two orders from one order will be source location will be Delhi destination will be Kolkata and make sure you are using the location from training for domain yeah okay? yeah so yeah so Delhi to Kolkata and Delhi to Hyderabad or whatever I I, I will not tell you source location should be same destination will be different and make sure those locations has longitude latitude else oh. multi work. so find location which has longitude latitude okay i need three location with longitude uh, bala by any chance have you created anything with uh, longitude mm -hmm. latitude 
Yeah, no? whatever I had created for South Indian, I think everything has latitude and longitude. You can choose anything. Okay, let me let me check this. Madurai, Bangalore, Coimbatore, you can choose anything. Gotcha. Does latitude? Source location Delhi. Delhi and not sure. I have created Delhi. I have created Delhi. I have uh, I have used longitudes and latitudes. Okay. Okay, source location is uh, Delhi. Neil, destination location. Your wish, where, which, uh, like where you have, you know, uh, longitude, latitude mentioned. Okay, I have for Hyderabad, India. These locations has these locations comes under training for, right? Yes. Thank God. Okay, go ahead. <coughs> okay. Don't keep hazardous material, okay? Better to don't play with items much. Keep same item name, okay? Mm, yeah. Use the same use same item for both the orders. Okay, sure. Packaging unit, we don't give anything. Is there anything else which we want to do it here, Neil? That's it from what I remember. This is what we do, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. that's what you do. And See. create simple order. Create simple order. Don't practice order because order will not be created by anybody. Finish it. It's all yeah. same. You, you want me to do one more line, additional line? 
No, 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 no. Why? Why? Just we are concentrating on multi-stop shipment. Okay. Don't put the second line. Just cancel it. Yeah. Yeah. Finish. Yeah, finish and create another order. Source will be same. Mm -hmm. Destination will be within India. Null pointer. Null pointer exception. Again, again, you have to do everything. I think you, the package writer, everything you should choose from the list. Yeah, actually, did that. Let me do that real quick. Again, it went into null pointer exception. Is there anything which I am doing wrong? Null pointer exception, whenever comes, it means you are creating and you are taking an object which doesn't exist. So you have to find out which object you are taking which doesn't exist. So first you put yeah, first you put art test, multi-star, location ID, whatever you are putting. Click on L. Autocalc is fine. Whatever you are putting, click on L. Yeah, L, L, L. Click on L. There also you can click on L. After writing the name, you should click on L. Because sometimes what happens, it comes from the cache, but it doesn't actually exist. Okay. So check, check the pickup one. Source location also. Click on L. Source location ID, click on L. Yeah. yeah, finish it. Okay, now go to ship unit. New line item. Neil, I'm, I'm just throwing it up. Uh, we modified the itinerary and make it that uh, we made it that uh, uh, multi stop itinerary, right? So do we Just need to log out or log out something else? Mm. No, 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 no. We'll go with Amul Kova. Okay. Last time we created with this, so we'll just say Amul Kova packed item ID. Uh, total package count keep 10 and just bunk it because nothing is um, mandatory here. Save it. Same thing again. That's strange. Can you just copy the copy any of the old order? Yeah, that is what I am doing. The one which I created yesterday. 
or underscore test and this one. Other other people also getting the same error. Can you try? Okay. How do we copy this name? There is a utilities order management utilities. Same way. Go to uh, action order management utility. No, 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 no. Utility. There will Copy be two Okay, this is international one. I can change yeah, this. Just, yeah, change the location and just Yeah, it created. Create another order. Copying this destination, change it to other location. Oh, you want me to do the same thing again? Copy this test order. Yes, and change the destination location to something some other location, which has longitude, latitude, of course. Bala, I'm using Trivandrum. It will work, right? Yeah, yeah, Raven. Whatever is Trivandrum, you have to work. Okay. Two orders are created. Now, now try to now. Find two order lists together. Copy till multi stop and search it in order release. Then you will get two orders back one and two. Uh. I changed the order release name to, to okay let me edit it okay you cannot change it anymore whatever you have done it is done it is GID mm -hmm. 
name, whatever you keep it, okay, you have kept it, okay, fine, finish it. Just I want two order to be selected together. Now it's your way, how you are going to do it. Okay. You have two of them, two orders here. Select both of them, go to action, create multi stop shipment. Okay, but I think the name is different. Can you check that once, Neil here? Yeah, so it, it, it shouldn't be a problem, right? It is, it is just a name. You can keep my name as well if you like. Okay. The configuration is that the internal data is same, right? Doesn't matter. Order release name will come such a way you will not even ever recognize. One one two two three three seven seven. But it actually takes the source location should be same. So go to uh, action and you did not put any date, so it should not be a problem. No. No. Go to or. Uh, Order, uh, operational planning, operational planning, and if you have selected two orders, there is no possibilities that you can check uh, lanes and rates for them, like show routing option, you cannot check, because show routing option only will work in case of direct shipment. So in this case, you better use multi-stop. You have an option multi-stop. Why I am doing it? Usually you will do bulk plan. But why I'm using multi-stop? Because in case you get any error now, multi-stop will tell you what is the error. Bulk plan will not tell you any error. You have to check the whole log. Okay. Multi-stop. We got one itinerary here. We got planned, I believe. Um, did you bulk plan? No. Okay. You you but, created multi, right? Yes. So now click on the multi stop shipment. Mm, again. That is the ID. That is the ID. There is an ID zero one zero zero seven. That is the shipment ID. Okay, on okay. We will see which one has been chosen at the second location. Click on edit. Yep. Go to ship and stop. You can't see that. Can you enlarge the screen to its best? Yeah, stops. <coughs> yeah, see, Hyderabad has been chosen at the second location where the Trivandrum has been chosen at the third. Yep. 
did you get it anybody has any question mm, no because what it did was it did consolidate i believe is it the right word or not i don't know but it will pick up everything right from here first it will drop go to hyderabad and then it will drop. go to yeah drop of whatever is there to hyderabad then from hyderabad it will go to trivandrum and it will drop the rest of the ltl whatever we have in that to trivandrum yes so this is, this is derived based on the uh, latitude and longitude right name distance yes latitude longitude is the decider of the distance if mm -hmm. you have PC miler or mile maker set up with your system, you do not need latitude and longitude to take your decision. But it should, OTM should know what is the distance between two locations. For OTM, Trivandrum and North Carolina has no difference. For OTM, it's all data. So if North Carolina and uh, how OTM will understand its North Carolina's US location coordinates, or if there is no coordinate, at least PC miler will tell what is this what is the dis distance between two locations from the source but every time every time multi stop shipment looks for two things one what is the source location what is the pickup date as you did not put any pickup date that is why it got planned suppose you have put the pickup date delhi to hyderabad on some day and hyderabad delhi to trivandrum on some other day then otm will not plan it together because it is not the source location you know there is a struggle bit before getting the pickup appointment so it is not that they can simply bunch it not looking at the date so OTM will look at two things one is what is the pickup date and second what is the source location source location has to be the same okay so that is why I have asked you to keep Delhi as the pickup location for the both orders so suppose you are delivering thousands of locations within India then every location should have pickup location as Delhi to make it multi stop shipment because there is no chance as a drop location can behave as a pickup location. So it is always the order will have pickup location same by default. Neil, I have a question. Yeah. So uh, this this uh, order of shipment, whatever happened. Uh, you are saying uh, the fundamental uh, reason behind is uh, one, the pickup location should be same, and uh, and then uh, is there anything that has to be common uh, denominator between uh, the orders that will be chosen for uh, multi-stop shipment? Ah uh, no, not at all. It depends on the equipment. Like suppose one equipment has a size limit. Suppose 300. Uh, volume is 300 uh, cubic uh, meter then if it is crossing it will stop making into a one shipment okay so let's say in this case uh, we are shipping from iPhone uh, right or the product is same uh, but but I have let's say two two or three different lines okay yeah. like uh, Raymond is creating the second line but we did not create I have a second line which has a separate uh, destination, let's say Bangalore. You cannot have. Okay. You cannot have. Can you create okay. an order with can you create an order with two different lines stating to different location? No. Order has one source, one list. So if my customer wants some item to be dropped at, at uh, Bangalore and some item to be dropped at Delhi or Trivandrum, let's can say you uh, multiple multiple ship to locations. Okay, I am I am let's say uh, a lifestyle or a shopper stop. Okay, yeah. I'm ordering uh, I'm ordering some um, let's say fifty thousand pieces of denims from Arpin Mills, Bangalore. Okay. So, yes. and uh, I, I have two or three different orders, let's say different sizes of tenants or different materials of tenants and I have uh, one order created for, uh, for Delhi to Hyderabad, but in Hyderabad itself, I have uh, three or four different locations, right? 
So in that okay. case, so in that case, and in Bangalore, let's say I have five shop stops. Okay. So in that okay. case, what happens? Nothing happens. It's like directly. Do you think that your truckload, which actually majorly go between cities, will go to each shop and take your delivery? I'm I'm talking about the shipment. Yeah. The shipment will be point to point shipment, start location, end location. What you are calling as start location from where you will consolidate all your product to your truck from that location to Hyderabad location. Now if you want to add within Hyderabad it will be dropped off in different different location then in the rate record you have stop off charges. I will show you that today how to how stop off charges works. Then your carrier will charge you the added stops, carrier will not plan it because within Hyderabad you cannot expect UTM will plan. So your carrier will ad hoc carrier will plan it. So what carrier will do? Carrier will charge you for every stops. Okay. And those stops are again uh, need to, for those stops do we need to save the addresses in OTM somewhere? No, no, not required at all. OTM needs one source, one destination for every order. So suppose suppose I'm giving you a general view, uh, Satya. Uh, you okay. think this you think this way that suppose your um, suppose a DHL kind of big shot business business come to uh, Hyderabad and if every location you have to mention to them that this 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 location you will drop do you think that their uh, engine which which is actually their centralized international engine that does care about small distance between two locations they don't what they do is they find a place suppose you say it is delivery at hyderabad so they will do the delivery at hyderabad as a certain place probably DHL's own hub in Hyderabad. From that, every stop you say, they will deliver it locally and they will charge for each stop. So those all things will not be even mentioned in shipment. Okay. Instead, instead, they will charge you for that. How they will charge you, I'm showing you. Can, you, can someone go to uh, let record? Hey, hey, Neil, be, be, yeah. before you yeah before you move to that now we consolidated we had a two uh, release uh, order release right and yeah. we converted them into a multi stop the initial order release numbers were something different and once we consolidate and make convert into multi stop the order name number got changed right so in case if i want to identify the source or go back to the source which then how can we check that? I did not get you, Revan, at all. Okay. Sorry, sir. Please. Okay. Yeah. See, uh, we had a, a two two order release, right? One is a uh, multi-stop and one is a multi-stop two. Okay. Yeah. We selected them and from the action, we I, we converted them into multi-location. Okay. Yeah. So what happened now? The order become one. Okay, and it has a multi-leg now. No, no, no. Not multi-leg, multi-stops, multi yeah. Wait, 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 Santosh. Not order and become one. It is now shipment. You have created okay. one shipment out of two orders. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now? But how we can identify the individual orders if you want to go back? For... Okay, go to shipment. Raven, can you go to shipment and find the shipment you have created just now? What is sell shipment? Click on buy shipment. Uh, one more thing, what is this other window keeps on popping with some uh, HTML codes? I don't know. Then? Yeah, the last one, click on plus, plus button. Click on plus button.
because the other window is getting too smaller to watch. Yes, so, yes. I don't know if you're looking at them or I'm the only one. No, no, I have everyone is able to see in this one, this size only. Even I am also able to see this size only. I don't know why. Click on no order releases. Click on order releases plus button. Now can you see two order releases? Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So, so Neil, yeah, I got it now. Okay, but in case suppose, in case you are receiving your orders, right, from some mm -hmm. uh, third-party system, okay, and how does the OTM knows which orders to pick and convert them into multi stop. That's what I just told you a few minutes back. Okay. OTM will find oh. out which location and pick up that is same. OTM will try to convert it into multi stop shipment if at all it is not non hazardous material. Hazardous material. Okay. Okay. See, it is OTM's wish if it will make it multi stop or not. You are not the we are not the decider of that. Now, oh, it, uh -huh. OTM is trying to optimize, right? That is why you okay. have paid so much to the Oracle. OTM is trying to optimize your system. OTM is trying to optimize the uh, orders and make it at the less amount of shipment or the less cost possible. So if you are the decider, no, 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 this should not be. Now, suppose there is an ad hoc requirement that, sorry, you cannot make this a multi-stop shipment. Uh, you have to make it a direct shipment in order to fulfill customer's requirement, then you can break a multi-stop shipment, create to direct shipment manually. But okay. um, honestly, OTM bulk plan, that is why they run a general bulk plan. General bulk plan picks mm -hmm. orders. OTM decides which one will be multi-stop, which one will be direct, because all the scenarios, rate offering, rate record, everything is available in the system. If mm -hmm. any order which supports the multi-stop configuration, if the set of orders supports the multi-stop configuration, OTM will build multi-stop shipment first. Okay. OTM will try to do multi-stop shipment. Now, if it is not happening, then it will be a direct shipment. Okay. Okay. And Neil, suppose after we converted this into multi-stop, and now we are we are able to see how the movements will happen from Delhi to Hyderabad, Hyderabad to Trivandrum, right? And can we, does OTM goes and shows you what is the cost associated to this entire shipment and if you see that it's at a higher side, can you go and cancel this uh, multi-shop and can you release, uh, make this to uh, order release uh, uh, independent because we clubbed it right now. Yeah. Means can we do it reverse, okay. Okay. Yeah, why not. Just can you click on 1007 and check what is the cost of the shipment first? Click on 1007. Don't replace the current window. Revan, don't yeah. replace the window and click on 01007. Check the shipment cost. How will you check the shipment cost? I will not tell you. Use your common sense. You will remember. And why this upper side bar is coming, I don't know. Financial, yeah. correct. Financial page where you are going to see this. Can you just click on three small dots beside two bars? Three small dots. What is that dot? Can you check? Where it is? Here. Yeah. Oh, where are where are these three dots? Okay. Okay. okay, so can you see what is the cost of the shipment? Total actual cost is 4,361 rupees. Mm -hmm. The whole shipment cost. Okay, now it mm -hmm. is Santosh requirement is to break it, reverse it. How to reverse it? Close, close this window.
groups. Okay, you close too much. Yes. Anyone is coming down to India sooner? No. Neil, which one you want me to open the multi stop or multi stop two or? Uh -huh. I want you no, to, you to, uh, to the... release. You need to go to release. Yeah, release. So just click on any of them. Click on any of them. Go to action. Operational planning or order management? Yeah. Really order operational management. planning. Operational planning. Yeah. Create buy. Create buy. Yeah, sorry. Create buy shipment. No, 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 no. Operation. No, operational planning, order management, unassigned order release. Okay. Sorry. You want me to third last. Third last year. Unassigned order release. Click on that. Unassigned order buy. Because you have created buy shipment. Yeah, it is released. Now order movement is also deleted. Now close it. And this one also I want you want me to do it. Yeah, uh, otherwise both the order will not be released. Okay. I think this is also done. Both of them. Yeah. Operational planning, create buy shipment, multi stop. Again, same thing, Neil, multi stop? Yeah. No, uh, you are again replanning? Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, yeah, correct. Yeah. So now, now, Neil, I got it how to reverse it now. Now, one thing is that what is the constraint when you cannot reverse it? Once you tender it, yeah, once you tender it and when the tender starts. Okay. Once you tender it, you can, you can also reverse the tender, unassign the tender, decline the tender. But once the tender started, you cannot reverse it. Then only way is manually you have to update from back end, changing the status, and then reverse it. Okay. And better to delete them and create fresh new. Mm -hmm. But yes, everywhere from there is a, you know, a coming back, of course, because business has both, both ways, like you can go ahead, you can come back the same way. But you know, coming back from a typical, then everybody will buy mistake, suppose one order to be delivered, they will change the service provider, then what will happen? That is why there is a constraint after it is tendered and tender is accepted and shipment started. And it is not very easy to reverse it back. Okay. If it is easy, then everybody would have done it. Yeah. It is confusing. Okay, thank so, you. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Uh, so now you know how to create multi stop shipment. And you know, I have done it in a fast shot that happened for the first time to me. Congratulations, Neil. Yeah, yeah, actually, like this. <laughs> you, <look at> it. <laughs> you people are lucky for me, probably five people's luck. <laughs> right. uh, and multi-stop shipment, this is how you create. So in addition to that, I would tell you 
one few things, then I would give you a very special task. And if you need a few days gap, you can take it. If you if you don't want to take it, it's your wish. Because I am available from for now till till probably eight, nine months, so I have no problem. I do not have any leave plan. So now it is up to you if you want to take a few days gap after I give you the task. Because the task is going to be really difficult and really practicing, uh -huh. but I would suggest continue your session, then you can practice it later, right? So uh -huh. um, I will show you a few things as discussed with Satya. First, I will show you what is stop of charges. So stop of charges means suppose internally within a city, internally within a city, you have small small places where you want to stop your vehicle see it is not a one order scenario mostly suppose Satya told he is a shopper stop and shopper stop is always shopper stop whenever they put orders shopper stop is not doesn't become a single operator after one single order right so if they OTM actually keeps this kind of scenario in a tactical way like so that every time shopper stop place an order, then OTM has option to give um, multiple drop location. So how the multiple drop location will be accommodated? I will show you. Can you just open the rate record? Any of the rate record? I'll minimize this. I'll minimize this. Me close it. Why to minimize this? You don't need this anymore. I'm showing you different now. Now multi-stop is over. Now you have to create practice multi-stop shipment. You want how, to to get to how to get multi-stop shipment, everybody? I'm telling you one by one. Listen and write it down if you wish to. Make sure your itinerary, your rate service, and your rate record, these three places, Lanes are country to country or region to region. If you are creating region to region, you have to be sure the location you are defining that should come under those regions. It should not be the case like the source locations are doesn't, uh, source location comes under destination region. It should not be the case then it will fail. Okay. So that is why every people in every business, they follow country to country for multi-stop shipment. Multi-stop shipment should be country to country or region to region. Itinerary rate service and rate record, these three. Second thing, itinerary should be multi-stop itinerary. And rate record, there should be a box check that is create single shipment. Now, without Checking that box, if it works or not, I don't know. I have done it out of the, my best practice. I did not take a chance till that. So, those all so, things. So, Neil, yeah? right, when we converted this into multi-stop shipment, right, so in that case, can we check which which itinerary has is associated to this? After multi-stop is built? Yeah. Yeah, in the shipment you will get itinerary, right? Okay. If you open the shipment, it will tell you everything. What is the itinerary? What is the rate record? What is the rate service? What is the rate offering? What is the rate it is charging? Which is the service provider? What is the equipment? Everything will be mentioned in the shipment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Practice shipment. Okay, Santosh. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. You, are, you are asking basic questions. That is why I am telling you. Open. Create as many shipment as possible so that your ideas are clear. What is shipment? Shipment has all the data. I told you at the very first session. Order will have the data which is required for a service provider to give the service. Shipment will have every each data in the system, how the shipment is created. Even the bulk plan ID, if it is created out of bulk plan. Bulk plan ID will be also mentioned in the shipment. If you open shipment, you will get all the damn information system has put into order. <laughs> okay, not even in the back end. You will get all everything in the front end only. Okay, I am asking. 
itinerary rate service and rate record these three will be country to country itinerary will be multi stop itinerary and rate offering uh, sorry rate record will create single shipment there is a checkbox in the rate cost tab create single ship sorry i'm i'm telling you wrong sorry sorry in the rate offering in the leg page in the rate offering leg page you will get a checkbox called multi uh, create single shipment you should check that okay that is one second thing is every location should have longitude latitude third mm -hmm. thing source location will be same okay source location will be same destination will vary within the country or within the region destination will vary and item should not be hazardous if items are hazardous i mean it incompatible it will create a direct shipment yeah yes it will create direct shipment okay yes okay so this is how you create it uh, multi stop shipment multi leg shipment is nothing but direct shipment so multi leg shipment i will give document how to create multi stop multi leg direct shipment whatever right apart from that if you know direct shipment multi stop shipment every types of shipment you can build still from the document you will get the you know you are very data you have to be little data driven in that case so in the document i will share to everybody i i have already shared the all the document to santosh your organizer your rudra it he will provide the document to all of you okay so that document i will tell him to give it to everybody so all the document you will go through the from now onwards and okay. you will try build all kind of shipment by yourself okay because in business all you need to know is how shipment gets built so let's practice more from now onwards how to uh, create shipment how to create multiple orders you will be bored of after creating five six shipment because very important topics are coming in coming days that is configuration that is what is very needed everything you are going to do is configured because if somebody want to be architecture architect somebody want to be a developer somebody want to be a solution owner all you need to know is how to config otm so yes. configuration configuration is configuring the workflow configuration is configuring the uh, users you know users in the sense uh, how to customize the screen and everything how to restrict few things how to uh, stop few users to see other users data everything will be coming in the later phases so that is why and now i am going to show i will answer all your question after this session but i want to start the stop up charges that is very simple thing left in the audit offering and rate record both the places stop up charges are there why both the places stop up charges are there suppose in the rate offering level you are putting stop up charges so it applies to all the rate record which is linked to that rate offering okay because rate offering is the parent data of rate record right so if if rate offering level you are putting stop up charges then it applies to all the rate records and because cost you are defining at the rate record level so the cost of the shipment will come from rate record so it will also take the rate offerings stop up but if you are applying it can, have, it can a rate sorry to interrupt nil um, uh, can a rate record have uh, stop uh, stop up charges irrespective of uh, the rate offering is having or not yeah it is a java rule uh, java actually takes super class data if there is a sub class data and super class data java actually takes sub prefer the sub class data because it is the immediate data right and right. take super class data whenever the sub class data is not available so in the same way rate offering is a parent and rate record is the child so otm takes rate from the rate record that is thumb rule 
Now OTM because the rate cost tab is available only in the rate record. So whenever rate record has its stop of charges, it takes stop of charges from the rate record. It will not even look at if it has stop of charges at the rate offering level. But if it doesn't have rate record at the rate offering uh, rate record level, then only it will look at the rate offering level. If rate offering level also there is no stop of charges, then there will be no stop of charges. There is no other level. So sometimes what happens in the business, they put suppose they want to put the stop of charges for all the all the rate record for a particular lane. For, for a particular lane, I mean rate service lane then they put at the rate offering level only. So that whichever rate record you put, the stop of charges will be applied. But suppose one particular lane, again within that rate service lane, one rate record lane, has a special stop of charge. So the stop of charges you can apply at the rate record level. That will override the rate offering level stop of charges. That is how it works. Satya understood? Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. So we will put stop of charges at which level? Uh, can you the make the screen bigger clicking on the three dots? I don't think it will happen. No. Okay. Click the window bigger. The RTC window. Click on the green dot. Okay. Uh, leave it. Then click on attributes. Full screen. Let me do this. Yeah. This is. Now you are able to see this? Little bit better. better. Yeah, much, much better. Yeah. Click on attributes. Okay. Okay. Now, low stop, high stop, fast stop charges. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. You will click on stop included in the rate. Stops, there is a top, top box. Stops included in the rate. How many stops you want to include in the rate? How many stop means pickup is a stop, delivery is a stop. So, two stop you want to include in the rate. Two. If you want to put two, uh, suppose you are putting three, you know, so uh, there will be little different count, but suppose you are putting two, then total all stop is two. Total all stop two. Pick up one, delivery one. Okay. Now low stop to high stop you are putting. Okay, low stop to high stop. Now low stop you are going to put as mm, one. One. High stop you are going to put as five. Part stop charges is uh, 200 INR. Now what is low stop, high stop? Low stop, high stop is nothing but 1 to 5. It's a fast bracket. It's a bracket. 1 to 5. 1 to 5 you are putting 200 per stop. Now next is low stop will be 6, high stop will be 10. Low stop 6, high stop 10. It means now if the total stop is more than 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. Then it will come to the next bracket. 6 to 10, part stop charges is 300 INR.
Okay, save it now. Finish it. Finish it. Finish. Yep. So now you have created a multi stop shipment out of this this rate offering. Mm -hmm. Yes. And create the multi stop shipment again. Hello? Yeah. Just give me a minute. Yeah, between this time, you just unassign them and create a multi stop shipment and go to the financial tab, okay? Okay. I'm going to just attend the call and come back. Give me one. Hello. শনিবার <laughs> শনিবার <laughs> make it three yeah. yeah just I think you just finished right yeah take Yeah, I can finish here. Yeah. 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 No, you have to query again. Let me try this if, just in case. If it copies, it copies. If not, we will do a refresh. Is it the right one? Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I think because we changed the rate offering, I don't think it is it is pulling up this information. I believe. What is it doing? When it is showing error? Uh, when we are trying yeah, to doing a multi-stop conversion. Yeah, try to do multi-stop. So there is some problem. It is not the problem with the system. Can you just log out and log in back? It is not trying to identify. It is not trying to recognize the orders. It is there is no problem with the setup multi-stop because order level you do not have any multi-stop or something like that. Order level it is all free. It is order. Now again click the order and try to multi-stop. If it doesn't happen then. There is a problem in the order creation of the master data. Yeah. And here. here. Because or null pointer is not a properly recognized error. Okay. Can you what happened when you tried to un unassign those orders? It got unassigned. Then why it did not create multi-stop? It was uh, throwing the same error. The only change which we did Neil is uh, changing the rate offering let us do something changing the rate offering doesn't make difference Create a new shipment manually again rather than copying it. Let me do one thing. Let me delete this and see if it works by any chance. See, it got created. Yeah. Because we have only one rate offering and we did some changes in rate offering and I don't know, it was unable to pick any rate. Yeah, right. So we'll have to see the, uh, see the order shipment uh, with, with the stop. Uh, you know, yeah, the second one. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I didn't get it. Yeah, if you go to the main menu, yeah, go to menu. Yeah, order release before order release. There is another menu. Order release with stop. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, wait, I came back. Can you just tell me like what happened in between? Yeah, so it worked. Neil, what I no 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 no. What I did is I went into the rate offering. Okay, and, and I removed everything which we have added in there. 
the trip stop information like the stops information okay and i try to plan it as multi stop okay it went okay 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 so okay. can you put can you put the same same changes at the rate record level can you just find the rate record of this particular shipment and try to change it yeah because usually it happens because i told you like there are restrictions within that yeah, uh, open, open the open the shipment yeah we'll check open the shipment or rate record changing on phone one okay rate offering no pen in lemon rate record tell me where you want me to change it because attributes okay yeah mm -hmm. now you try to do the same thing here 2 1 2 okay now finish it now try to build the now if this way also doesn't happen then copy this rate record and do we have to do something like this order release with stops no 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 okay order release let me go to order release let's try 3 and 4 actions just say multi stop no nope. that is too big it is not taking stop of charges at all after putting the stop of charges it is not recognizing stop of charges yes. can you try to bulk plan it can you try to bulk plan it yeah Oh, it got planned. It got planned, but it has created two shipments instead of one. One shipment, yeah. Okay, it has created two shipments, and since it has created instead of uh, multi-stop, it has created two direct shipments. Yeah. Okay. so multi stop is failed here so probably stop of charges is not working for the multi stop shipment for 6.3.7 uh it should work though okay so can you uh, can you just open the shipment If you have option to put some additional stop at the shipment level, can you put it? Open any of the shipment between those two. Buy, go to buy shipment. T 
click on that. What are you doing? Click on the shipment. I want you to open the shipment. This is on, right? Yeah. No, no, no. The main one. Okay. Okay. Go to shipment stop level and try to add a stop. If you can. No, you do not have option to add a stop. Because it is already built, right? So Yeah. Then they did not put it as well. Okay. I will check and I will get back to you how it works. Okay? Probably okay. it is it, it actually works, it is not happening here for it is a test domain. <coughs> This uh, this is a training instance. Probably all properties are not set up properly. It is also can be a reason. Okay. So actually, I cannot blame blame simply to OTM because it works this way only. Suppose you have multiple stops, and if you have more stop than the specified stop, then the high stop, low stop decides how many extra stops are there, and that cost gets added to that shipment level. Okay. Okay. I don't think it is already related to that map, so that is why it's not working. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, high stop, low stop is the that concept. At least no. If in your business domain, if you require, then probably you can materialize. So I will try to fix it. If it doesn't happen, then you should know this is how it should work. Not. Sure. Okay, uh, now come to the point you have to uh, do a little task that is create a multi-stop uh, multi shipment in India, at least two, three multi-stop shipment you should create and practice from uh, starting from uh, you know, location to itinerary to rate offering to everything. Everything you create, you okay? okay? And multi-stop shipment, at least two, at least three multi-stop shipment, one within the US, one within Europe, we have one within India, and three direct shipment, one within US, one within Europe, one within India. Or you can create direct shipment international also, your wish. Three direct shipment, three multi-stop shipment to create, and let me know if you are confident. Finally, I will uh, go drill down a little bit and I will give some theoretical knowledge uh, about you know, rate, itinerary, and also the shipment in different business scenarios. I will take another class, similar kind of. Okay. More depth. Okay. And then I will look into the configuration part, which is very important, which you have to actually consider. Okay, Neil. Yeah. Okay. Sure, Neil. Why Neil of the session if you don't have a question? Uh, Neil, there is one thing uh, regarding this one. You said you have dumps right for this thing. Uh, I, have, I had dumps. I had it. I have received your email, but I was that time in Shimla. So hmm. I had dumps. I need to really find it out if, if I still have because it is 15 GB. Okay. I it can has give you a Google. Okay, what drive kind of dumps? Can it. Okay, what kind of dumps? Seven? Yes, it is uh, it uh, certification. Certification and dumps. I probably have to check out and I will give get back to you because it's hey, been hey, long. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, what, what what kind of dump it is? Sorry, I didn't able to hear you. OTM certification dump. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Okay. So if I have it, Revan, I will not hide it from you definitely. I will um, check in my system because I have taken it like years back, probably five years back, I don't know, three, four, four years back at least. 
So I will check it where it is. If I am able to find it out in my old hard drive, pen drive anywhere, then I will definitely let you know in this session and I will transfer it in your Google Drive wherever it is possible. Sure. Yeah. That would help a lot. Yeah. I will do that. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Neil. Yes.